hello everyone welcome back now let's try some examples with github so in order to hit the github api there are two steps first we need to generate the token from the github api like uh, earlier like github allowed users to log in using username and password but uh, i think after 2021 they only authenticate users using a token so first of all we will be generating the token and then we'll be hitting the uh, we will be authenticating the user so authenticating is similar to you know logging into the like we logging into the ui once user is logged in he can perform multiple operations so the same thing is like authenticating the user okay so first of all let's go to github.api uh, github.com like go to github.com and log in into the github.com if you do not have an account already you can sign up okay once you are signed up uh, click on this profile menu and go to settings okay so under settings there will be one option at the bottom for developer settings okay under developer settings go to personal access token and click on token classic okay so i already have generated one token but i can delete it and show you how to delete, uh, generate the token okay so click again over here there is one option to generate a personal access token click on this option you can select anything like rest api practice or something like that and you can select the expiry date like after how many days the token should be expired i am selecting 30 days and select all the options you want to try like what is the scope of the token what all operations you should be able to perform using that token so i am selecting these options like i am not selecting admin rights i am just selecting user delete delete repo right discussion yeah i think this is more than sufficient right so i will click on this generate token once you will click on generate token your token will be generated and you need to copy that okay so uh, i will pause the video and copy that token from for uh, my safety purpose security purpose okay to be on the safer side okay so once that token is generated uh, you can create one new class like get uh, this token dot val token value dot py you can rename it anything okay and we will be defining one method over here like this one that define definition of name is get token will be returning me the token so instead of abc i will be pasting that token right i can i will paste this to that token which i have generated over here and then in my main class where i am going to hit that github uh, let me fetching that token value right in one variable just be fetching that token value that's it see abc i have like for now but uh, afterwards i will change it okay so that is done so now i need to hit the github api so go to google.com okay and search for uh, github this is the option that we need to select rest api and points for users okay so i want to authenticate my user right so in order to authenticate this is the url they have provided let me select this url to value of the url and i need one header like headers is equals to to send this authorization this token so i am formatting the string under formatting string bearer brackets i will be passing the value of the variable token okay and these two headers are optional you can skip them if you want right and then uh, the method type is get okay let's hit that response i will be storing the response. dot get 
is equals to URL. The security verification. So I am passing verify as false, and uh, then headers is equals to headers. We need to fetch the response code. The status code. To equal to 200 and uh, I also print the response for you let me save it and let me also keep that token which I have generated in, inside instead of this AB ABC okay